The multi-stage process is a browser-driven user process for setting up multi-stage stamping processes. It's reusable. Once a stage has been set up, it can be saved and reused for a different multi-stage process. And it manages the data transfer between the previous stage and a subsequent one without any user intervention. For automatic springback setup via inertia relief, there is no need to set up constraints to remove rigid body motion. There is also a simple switch to change to a constraint-based manual setup. Visual geometry difference via distance contour provides a comparison of the springback part against the design shape. The trimming function provides simultaneous trimming at multiple locations with support for both 2D projected and 3D trimming curves. The trimming panel is opened from the Setup Advanced menu in Hyperform to trim or lance the model. The component is selected as the trim part. After activating the line list selector, the lines to use as trim lines are selected on the model. The direction is set to Z axis to trim along the Z axis. The trim is now performed to remove the elements inside the lines. The elements are removed and the holes appear in the mesh. Notice the mesh around the holes is automatically remeshed. Lancing is a piercing operation in which the workpiece is sheared and bent with one strike of the die. A key part of this process is that there is not reduction of material, only a modification in its geometry. This operation is used to make tabs, vents, and louvers. Hyperform 11.0 offers the ability to create a lance on a part. The lance option is selected from the switch. After activating the component selector, the component is selected in the graphics area. The line list selector is activated and the line to use as the lance line is selected. The direction is set to Z axis for the lance. The trim is now performed to lance the mesh. The mesh is trimmed and remeshed at the lance line. The mesh follows the line that was used to lance the model. Using implicit for gravity before forming provides the same accuracy in a fraction of the time. Hyperform Die Module 11.0 provides an object-oriented and browser-driven process for draw die development. There's also a toolbar for rapid access to the most frequently used functions for draw die development. The Die Module in 11.0 also offers the ability to plot draw depth contours relative to the binder and plot trim angles contour with respect to the draw direction. Finally, the Die Module in Hyperform 11.0 provides the ability to unfold flanges, handle double attached parts, and insert draw bars and draw beads on a draw die surface. Hyperform 11.0 offers thermal forming with temperature dependent tabulated material law. Also available are orthotropic and temperature dependent material for solids and thick shells. As seen here, Hyperform 11.0 offers minimal deviation from experimental data. Now, stamping initialization can be done in HyperMesh with a process manager for seamless initialization of full vehicle crash models with forming results. The results can also be reviewed linked to the crash model via Include. Automatic stamping initialization in HyperCrash offers a single click to initialize parts, and the browser differentiates between regular, composite, rigid, and formed parts. Result Mapper 11.0 is a general purpose mapping tool inside of HyperCrash that can map thicknesses, plastic strain, and stresses. It can also read forming data from Radios, Dyna, and Autoform, and write map data to Radios, Dyna, and Abacus input format. It maps the results between solids and hydroform parts, handles symmetry, fills holes, and provides a batch process to save and replay. Other improvements to Hyperform 
include real-time interactive morphing and FEA for one-step and incremental analysis, history file size reduction via GZIP for multi-stage processes, and more fracture criteria for AHSS sheet metal.